All right, everyone, this is Ross, and I want to give you guys an update on the Hoshigaki. Uh, Hoshigaki is basically a dried persimmon um, done Japanese style, and the way that the Japanese do it is pretty simple. You take a Hychia persimmon, peel off the skin, and then string them up and let them dry for about 20 to 30 days. At certain points, you want to massage the fruits. Um, I think that helps determine at what ripeness this is at and what level of dry that you want the fruits to be. But also, I, I haven't figured it out just yet, but apparently it's supposed to help with removing some of that moisture. Um, not entirely sold on that idea just yet. I want to eat one right now because um, we're about 15 days in. We're about halfway through. I've been incredibly impressed with these particular fruits. I have some that I think were more ripe to begin with and they're a bit further along in this process. And they're starting to get re really gooey on the inside here. So that's a good sign that, that uh, first off they're ripe, you can eat them. And then second, that they're actually doing what they should be doing. They are getting to that um, dry state very, very easily, actually. I've been extremely surprised. We've had them in the sunroom. I just moved them up here just to uh, do this video for you guys. But they're going to return back into the sunroom where we have the, the fan blowing. It's pretty dry in there. I'm, I'm pretty convinced you could put these anywhere in your house. If you have a dry environment in your house, somewhere around 40% humidity or lower, um, you could do this. I don't see why not. Um, so what I'm going to do here is eat one of these and see how good they taste. Um, and then I can kind of assess how much further along they all need. Certainly these other guys here that are that don't look nearly as ripe, uh, but they do look quite dry. I think those are going to need more time, but this will give me a good idea here. Plus, I'm sure it's really good. Um, you can definitely tell that it's pretty gooey inside. Maybe a little firm. This one's a little firm. There are some other ones here that are very gooey, and I'd rather not eat those. Although, that's probably the most ripe. But I, I have a feeling this one's the most ripe, and it's past that gooey stage. And it's getting... Um, a little bit drier, more to a jammier consistency. So we'll see if that's true. Wow. That's really tasty. Um, not as tasty as my persimmons that I've gotten to this particular stage, but uh, it is a little astringent too. So it's probably not it's probably not as ripe as some of these other ones here that I have that are extremely gooey. You can really see that in here. This probably would have been a better bet to eat right now. But you know what? It's still really good. Man, what a treat these are going to be. You can already see the potential. So the outside's supposed to crystallize. And then the inside turns into a really gooey, jammy, just the perfect consistency with these. And they're like an incredible snack. I mean, this is already an incredible snack. What a treat. So that's our little update here, guys, on Hoshigaki. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. We'll get you guys updated on how they turned out at the end and any other additional things that we did. But I haven't even been stringing these up. I've had them in an environment that really hasn't been all that dry. The fan hasn't even been blowing. It's been cold. It's been hot. I mean, the, nothing really is bothering these. They're, in, they're just incredible pieces of fruit. So we're going to have a success for sure. We'll see you guys soon. Take care, guys.